Hi, Rick. Can you tell me uh, your full name and what you do at SAS? Okay. I'm Rick Langston. I'm manager of core systems at SAS, and we are responsible for a variety of things that anytime you run SAS, you're actually running through our code. Anytime you run a proc, anytime that you run global statements, anytime that you run uh, to get any kind of memory or freeing any memory, all the tasking that is starting up, any particular proc invoking, any proc terminating, all that is going through the core code. You can't actually execute anything in SAS without going through our code. That's great. So that's, and, but specifically, I'm responsible for proc format, among other things, and I do have some new features that I'm talking about today mm. for 9.3, that I have a version of 9.3 on my system here that I'm showing people, and I have a few particular features of proc format that people have been interested in. Now, I don't know if your camera is able to show. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's on, uh, Let's take a look here. at some of the 9.3 okay. uh, proc formats. Okay, one of, the, uh, one of the things that people have been asking for uh, is the ability, let me find the wrong, I'm in the wrong directory, let me go move up to the other location. And in proc format, we have, for example, uh, one of the things I've gotten on the SAS word ballot is I'd like a format that will give me Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 for the four quarters. They don't want the year like YYQ does. Mm -hmm. So instead of my creating 5,000 more new formats like everybody's asking for, I, I do the, uh, give, if you teach a man to fish, he fishes for a lifetime. And this is the concept here. Run proc FCMP and create a function that would do the work you wanted to do, to create a Q followed by the number. But to invoke it within a format, you do this. Where you have formats as labels that have been around for a long time, this is a function as label, where the name is followed by open and close parenthesis. That is the indicator to me that this is a function. It will expect a single argument function, and the function will return values, and that's what will be displayed. So when we run that example, we've formatted it, using the QFMT format, mm -hmm. but it's actually executing the QFMT function to produce these values. Wow, so the user can edit and change that function yes, to whatever. Yes, the proc there. FCMP is part of base, and so people can write their own functions. So they can do algorithmic type things instead of strictly table-driven in the way formats typically are. Is it still a one-to-one -one in that one input, one output, or is there a difference of formatting it to create multiple values in the output? Uh, as it turns out, there's only a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. It's a function that can have a single argument and a function returns a single value. Mm -hmm. I take care of all the conversion between numeric and character, but right now there can only be a single argument passed in. I'm continuing to think about possibilities of allowing more than one value to be passed in, but I haven't yet been able to come up with how we can make that work. So mm -hmm. I'm still still uh, thinking about that. So is this purely something only in 9.3 that's coming out? It's not available in 9.2? That's correct. It's not available in 9.2. It's a new feature that I've been working on for 9.3, and I'm showing it here today to make sure that I get it in place for 9.3 because I'm talking about it. Now another one, and this one, this one is for the for the real nerds in the audience, is uh, the Perl regular expressions. And so this is an example of Perl regular expression where you have an in value and you uh, and based on what the character string has in it, it will take it will informat it as a time or as a date seven or a date nine. And these Perl regular expressions here are the ones that indicate what type of value we're looking at. And we have ha I've been having discussions today with some of the folks that actually had asked for this originally, and, and I'm going to be making some further enhancements to it. But this is the first stab that of what's going to be available in 9.3. Now, is the Perl expression limited within the proc format or throughout the data step and various different yeah, SAS? This is, this is still a limitation here. The, the Perl regular expression like PRX, change, et cetera, the same API that's being used internally for that implementation is what I'm calling. But it's not an indication that it's more broad available all throughout the SAS language. This is just yet another place where you can use it in addition to the data steps, PRX change, and other comparable okay. functions. So the PRX change is the one that they would use outside the proc uh, If you would, yes. This, uh, I'm using the same code <laughs> underneath, you might mm. say, uh, in, in the execution of the format. How's the performance of this pro expression as compared to uh, an analogous data step logic? Uh, it should be about the same because the data step logic is calling the same underlying code that mm. this is. But quite honestly, I haven't gotten into the point to do comparisons of performance to see which is faster. Mm. Uh, this is mainly a matter of convenience that people like the idea of using in formats in an, in an input statement, for mm. example.
example, versus having to do the coding in a data step. Uh, so I may be doing a trade-off of performance versus uh, versus the uh, convenience, mm -hmm. but I'm going to be playing with that a bit more to get an understanding of which is, if, if it's really slower, I'll have to document it as such, or, or maybe go back and do some redesign. Mm. Well, in the opening session, uh, Jim Goodnight displayed, showed this multi-threading grid computing where it runs on this blade. Now, does that still run through your module, or is that a completely separate product? Well, what he, well, yes, that's, that's what, what, they're, what they've been working on is using uh, what we call threaded, the threaded kernel technology. And the threaded kernel technology allows for multiple threads to be run on the same core, and then you also, in conjunction with grid, you're sending it out to many different nodes on the grid and sending it out to multiple threads on the, in the same node uh, so that they can get the, the best execution possible. As far as it is actually may be doing some formatting, but the formatting is being done through a separate implementation than what people are typically using in a SAS program. They're using what's called the threaded version. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm responsible for that as well, okay. but it's actually a completely different implementation. But the core base foundation SAS that they're running is still running Absolutely. using yours, uh, isn't it? Yes, I believe that is true, that they are mm -hmm. actually running various SAS images on those different machines. I'm not 100% positive, but okay. that's what I think they are doing. <laughs> that's, of course, what we try to promote, is to be mm -hmm. able to gridify SAS and run it on many different nodes simultaneously. The grid manager folks can tell you all about that. Mm. I don't know the exact uh, implementation and, and structure of what they're using on those different nodes. I've mm. had discussions with Chris Bailey and others about what they're doing, but 